Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15.2. In my opinion, the best update to come to iOS 15. It includes a bunch of amazing new features like the redesigned notification summary, legacy contact, and of course the ability to search playlists. Of course, it has all of these big features that we know about, but there are plenty of hidden features that you will be able to find on iOS 15.2, which currently is on the RC version and should be released by next week. And we're gonna talk about that in just a second. So let's take a look at some of the best hidden features that you will be able to find on the new iOS 15.2. In my last video talking about iOS 15.2, I talked about the ability for the iPhone to recognize when the battery is not genuine and of course give you a notification on the battery settings on your iOS 15.2 device. Now Apple has actually expanded that on iOS 15.2 and with the latest release, now you will be able to actually get that notification on the about section on the general settings so you will have here a section that says parts and service history it will basically show you here the service history of the battery camera the screen of your iphone and you can see right here if basically one of these have been replaced it will show them here and it tells you if that's a genuine apple part or not and lower here you can also see what it says so iphone's camera is a genuine apple part and the lower here we also have other sections so we can have here parts and display and service history and you can see where it says unknown parts so if your iphone has a part that has been replaced but it's not genuine by apple it will show like this so as an unknown part so this is really really great and of course it will be very very useful in a lot of cases especially if you're trying to buy a used iphone you want to know if it has the screen or the battery or anything replaced just go ahead take a look at those sections on the settings app and you will be good to go now of course one of the biggest features of ios 15.2 legacy contact you can find it on the settings app on ios 15.2 simply by heading to your apple id and then going under password and security now basically this allows you to add a contact as your legacy contact and that contact will basically have your info if anything happens to you they will be able to actually recover your data now what we didn't know is that you can actually add multiple legacy contacts here i have them i can add as many as i want so it's not limited to only one legacy contact and that's really really great now if you just go here you can go, go ahead and of course add more legacy contacts just like that that's really cool now if we go here to one of the legacy contacts what we can do here is remove the contact so basically get this option to quickly remove it from here or view the access key that you have for this contact now to basically send someone an access key you will have a few different methods so let's just go ahead and try to add another legacy contact right here so once you have added your contact of course you tap on continue right here and it will show you the access key and different ways in which you can share now based on what information you have on that contact whether you have email you have their iMessage or you simply have maybe a, like another simple like phone number or stuff like that you can go ahead and print a copy of the access key or you can go ahead and send them via iMessage if you have the number of their iMessage registered to that contact now here we have here the printing side basically what you can do here is also tap and hold there it will pop up the legacy contact access key and you can go ahead and just simply save it from here to your files app as easy as that so go ahead and save it just like that now once you have done that of course you tap the next button and you can go ahead and update the birthday or just simply add that contact as easy as that you can add multiple legacy contacts on ios 15.2 now with the new hide my email feature of ios 15 of course a great feature the upcoming also new updates that apple is releasing making this feature better and this is one of them you will get this banner on your email of course when the message has been forwarded to your mailbox so you can see right here it says basically hide my email this message has been forwarded you can go ahead and access even the settings of hide my email directly from there ios 15.2 of course brings the new ui to the app privacy report we had this since the release of ios 15 but of course there was 
no UI here. Now we have a UI and that's really great. Now what you can do here is just go to one of the apps and you will basically see everything that they have accessed all the domains in this case and what you can do is tap on show all and now you will have the option there to sort them based on most active or based on the alphabet letter that they start with and you can do the same with the apps here as well so if we go to data and sensor we have all the apps here you can choose based on activity or you can go ahead and choose basically on alphabetic right there so you will have actually recent access the apps that have most recently accessed your data or your sensors and then of course the alphabetic order as well with iOS 15.2, under seller and under seller data options tab, you will get a button to actually enable limit IP address tracking. Limit IP address tracking will basically hide your IP address from known trackers in Mail and Safari. And now you get the option to enable or disable it for your seller data. So you can find it right there under the seller data options. A super useful new option on iOS 15.2 when you go to your notification summary you now have the option to completely clear the notification summary. Now previously you had to do that basically one by one but now you can just tap on that button to do that. Of course you still have the option to remove any of the notifications individually but again just clear them from there simply tap tap the second time and you have now a clear notification center as i said at the beginning of the video ios 15.2 is currently on the rc version and expect this to be released pretty soon i believe ios 15.2 will be released at the beginning of the next week so it's the rc version it means no more betas just the release to the public and that probably will happen on monday december 13th that's the day that i believe apple is releasing ios 15.2 to the public before they go on the holiday so expect ios 15.2 to come to your device on monday so that's basically it for this video guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos and i'll see you on the next one